M0FXB, welcome to my channel. On the left, we have the Anytone 578 Pro 3 with the new APRS Receive and 500,000 contacts. On the right, we have the Yaesu FT5D, which is an excellent APRS radio. So let's just beacon. They're both on 144800 and the modem is turned on. So let's go F menu and we'll go beacon. And straight away, you can see the information there. It's got my location that I've put in. And it, we can change the pop-up time. See the way the pop-up time vanished? We can actually change that. But anyway, let's see if we can scroll down. And this is the information that you get. And there is an APRS menu. Just go menu. Go down to APRS. And then select upload type. We haven't actually done it yet, so let's select it and see if we can send it back. We probably can't yet, but I haven't put the time in to work it out. So we set it at analog. A for analog. Let's go back. Analog APS, let's just check that. PT upload. We'll do TX end. That tends to be the popular one. Go back. Upload power. Let's keep it low. Upload WN, so we're going to leave that as wide. Upload frequency, so we need to put that in. Edit, oh, it's already in there, 144800. That's good news. Go back, back. Signal path, now I haven't changed that. Now apparently it should be wide 1 dash wide 2, I think. But anyway, we're going to leave it as this for now. We can always change it in the co plug. Just see if it works. Upload text. It just says my call sign and the radio. It actually says 878. And the reason it says that is because I've copied this code plug from my uh, other radio. So that's okay. We'll leave it for now. From my 878, basically. Right, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can uh, TX. We'll just push the PTT. It says sending analog. There you go. How good is that? And we can turn that. Not giving us much more information, is it? But you can see M0FXB9. Now let's go F menu. Um, S list. Select that. See if we can find a comment. There is 878UV. Now just to show you that um, it's the 578, I'm going to change that 878 to 578 in the code plug. Give me one minute. I'm just going to show you the code plug settings for my analog down there. I'll do the DMR stuff, which is up there at another time. But as you can see, we've just got my call sign in here and dash 9, M0 FXB. I've changed it to 578. See all that 1200. I've ticked all this so it sends all the information. Now the important one is here, transmit frequency 144.800. That's really important, but I haven't really changed any of this stuff here at all. Okay, so because we're not doing auto transmit. My location is, is you know, estimated. And then I'll just show you the, the actual channel that's in the radio. We'll just click the channel, it's 1143. So it's down here. This is the actual channel I've created. So it's APRS, obviously it's analog. You can see it's analog there. The power's way too high. We're gonna lower that right down before we blow up my radio. Probably because I wanted to do it for outside. And I don't think I've ticked anything else. APRS receive is ticked at the top there. See that, everything else. Have a good look, pause it. Right, let's send that to the radio with the lower power. We'll just go right to radio. Okay, okay. There you are, it zooms across. The and then let's do another transmission. And just so you know, in the FT5, we go F menu, APRS, and we just start at the top. Most of it's default. I haven't changed one or two. 
APRS to modem, obviously that's turned on, that's 1200. All the rest is pretty default really, I haven't changed anything. Uh, I, although I've put my location in on the GPS section and told it it's, you know, it's fixed location. Not GPS. GPS power is actually off. So you get your GPS, oh yeah, call sign, APRS call sign. There it is there, M0FXP6 at the moment, just so you can tell the difference. And my position, there you are. Got big fingers. There you are, manual selected. And that way you've got a fixed location. Symbol, position, comment. Okay, so it's basics there. So anyway, so let's uh, TX going from the 578 across to the FT5 again. We just key the mic. And we told it remember to key at the end. Let's just work out why it's now decided not to do that. It's probably because the settings that we put in before got turned off when we send it to the radio. So let's do it again, just for practice sake. So we'll go APRS, upload type. See, it says none. I should have read the radio when I made the changes. Click upload type, go back, analog APRS, PT upload, TX end, end, selecting all this with the channel changer, go back, upload power, it's low, that's good. <laughs> Wide upload frequency, that was important, wasn't it? But that was already there. Yeah, that's there. So click confirm with the menu. So all looks good. So what we're going to do now is read from the radio. So we keep those settings. I'll just quickly test it. There you are, sending analog APRS. And there it is. And now if we turn, it lets me do it this time. It will say 878. But let's just um, read from the radio before I forget. So otherwise we're going to lose those settings. So click read and yes. Okay. Right. And you'll see the radio go into read just so we can save those settings. Right. It's rebooting. I've got my customized image there, customized background in my previous videos. Right. Let's just TX now see if it does it. Yeah. Sending analog APRS. There you are. Because it's already seen it. It just puts it as a shortcut. So we'll just go F. Menu, station list, hit F, and then if we scroll down this time, look, 578 UV Pro. Working great, very pleased with that. Uh, let's just go the other way. So F menu, beacon text, all the information's there. M0XV and look, dash six. So yeah, that's good. Now the pop-up times, I'm sure there's a place we can change that. We're really pleased with that. So um I've actually never seen a 578 Pro do it, so it's nice to see it. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on L, all the best.